Our task force will launch flying under Gilead's radar. We'll kill anyone who gets in their way. So she's in there? May the Lord keep you and bless you. You're coming home. The commanders did send me here. My husband doesn't answer to those commanders. I cannot make Gilead look like the victim. I was trying to avoid all this bloodshed. We do not stop fighting. No matter what, we don't stop. So many more of them now. Is this ever gonna end? It's only gonna get worse. This season, I really do think, was our most challenging because it was unlike any season we'd done before. In this episode, we see that there's a growing sense of anti-refugee sentiment in Canada. Should we get out of here? I mean, Toronto, Canada. The story has always been about the need to survive. For June, it's survive as a mother and through her children. Gentlemen, I have brought you here to New Bethlehem. New Bethlehem was an idea based on our discussions with the UN about how pariah nations become part of the international community again. It is a way to fix everything he did wrong in helping to create Gilead. I can reunite you there. You can bring your family. You can live a life. You're saying I can be with my daughter? I am. If June was to agree to come back, it would validate to the world the legitimacy of what I am attempting to do. I like when you place characters in essentially impossible situations with impossible choices, because then you really see what a person's character is made of. When Serena sees Mrs. Wheeler, she comes to understand that she herself has just been turned into a handmaid. Who is that? Serena, again. You talked to her? I'm not since the hospital. So much of the season exists in the liminal spaces. Serena's stuck between freedom and servitude. I'm not gonna live in the same house as my child's kidnappers. Do you have an irony deficiency? She has no way out. She has no one to rely on. You came.